This video is just a quick little walk around to show you some of the things that have been done to the Jeep. Uh, it came with chrome, decided to go with an all black. So we had the tail lights tinted. We removed all the chrome emblems, replaced those with OEM black ones. Um, exact art in Philadelphia did a custom hitch cover for me. Xloom.com makes one, but for $650 plus shipping, this only cost me $130. Also, Exact Arts Painter did the smoke out. He also replaced those uh, tail lights. Those tail lights are Eagle Eye tail lights. I'll show you those in a second. And the rear fog kit from Tail Light Solutions. Coming around the side, we removed the door badges. It's been debadged. Uh, the trim, it's been auto flexed from Custom Coatings in Philadelphia. That's the K Custom. And Coatings is also with a K, and instead of an S, it's a Z. You can find them on Instagram. They do a lot of great work. So this, this Autoflex, it acts and looks like paint. You can wet sand it, and you can uh, wax it. But if you want to remove it, it comes just comes off just like um, Plasti did. So Custom Coatings also did the hood for me. They put the vinyl in, inserts in there, and that, that vinyl is Avery. Is the name of the product up, up, up front? Went with the black uh, Mopar rings. I didn't want to have those dipped, decided to just purchase those. The illuminated SRT badge is from xloom.com. We also had the lower uh, fascia grill rings, those little grill rings right there, those were plasti dipped. Inside the engine, got a catch can from Billet, Billet Technology, some braided catch can lines, and a couple of their products, their caps, their uh, satin, this is the satin finish. Now, I have on order, which should be here in about a week, from American Car Craft, I, these, uh, they're aluminum fuel rail covers, it has like a mesh in the front and they're aluminum, that'll be going in. Some, uh, Saturday will be installing. There's going to be another satin piece that goes around here. Uh, the last, also the cap that goes here, is also in the mail. Oh, and I almost forgot the, the fuse box lid. It's an uh, aluminum satin finish that's coming also on Saturday. We also went with um, the DRL daytime running light mod. Now I'll show you what that looks like. I'll turn the vehicle on. I can show you the rear tail lights and the mod at the same time. Oh, and the inside, there's the blue diode. I, now, these we couldn't get out. Okay, if you have figured out a way to get those out, send me a message. But I'm not ripping this part up, you know, into pieces just to remove that. It really doesn't bother me when the map light's on. I'll show you why. But when we pulled this down, we couldn't get to these. And this piece right here is like 600 bucks. I'm not tearing that apart. So let me just show you. That'll go off in a sec. And, me, and meanwhile, Custom Coatings also did the vinyl wrap for me. They did a black brushed metal look in here. Pulled off all the pieces. Looks great. Let me shut the door. Okay. For a radar detector, it's passport. It's worth its weight in gold. It saved me many, many times. Uh, dash cam. That's the Blackview 650S dual channel. And now you'll see that it's connected to, I have a Wi-Fi hotspot in the vehicle. I'm not using the vehicle's hotspot because it's sketchy. It's only 3G, so I have a, and as you can see it over here, it's on my seat. All right, let me continue. Right there is, that's the hotspot that I have the vehicle connected to. Excuse me, that's the, it's from AT&T. This is a mobile hotspot that I have, and it's 4G that I have my dash cam connected to. So I could stream directly to Facebook if I wanted to, which there is no really need for that. Uh, you could also stream directly to YouTube. Um, the best part is once it's connected either to your home network or to a hot spot like this, you'll get push notifications on your phone. So if your vehicle is struck in a parking lot while you're shopping or in your house, you'll get a notification immediately to your phone 
that an impact was detected. So that could be the difference between catching the person before they flee and just knowing what happened and when it happened. I mean, the dash cam will record the event, but to have that push notification happen instantly, I think that's just, you know, of, of invaluable piece of technology. And it, it works. I've, I've had it work already. Um, below here, we have a GoPro Hero 5. That's just for the track or just, you know, goofing around. It doesn't do anything. I mean, the quality is a lot better than a dash cam, except at night. The dash cam actually is better at night. But with the GoPro, you can, uh, you can use in post-processing. You can overlay gauges and other, you know, stuff like that if you want. So wired that, I mean, we went up along the headliner, and you can see all the way to the rear. That's the rear camera they're both in HD and underneath the seat this is a battery backup for parking mode that I got from Blackview so that's under the seat and it's I have it connected to this uh, it's kind of like a extension okay Let me back it up a little bit maybe you can see it better all right so there's there's the extension that it's plugged into and I have it wired into the middle console because that console, that outlet right there is being used for the radar detector. And if you try to run them both in there, you'll blow the fuse. So I ran it into the center console and it's constantly on. And when the battery is full, it will not drain your battery, your car battery any further. You can set it in, you know, go into your settings of your dash cam through the app and you can set at what voltage you want it to stop drawing power from your battery. So at 12.5, 13, whatever, you could have it stop drawing power and then your battery won't go dead. And then you'll just run off the battery. I get about anywhere between 12 and 18 continuous hours, sometimes up to a day, depending upon my settings. And there's the GoPro turning off for some reason. Um, oh, so let me turn on the... Uh, Okay, so the lights are on. Let me show you the rear tail lights. So. Alright. So these are the Eagle Eye tail lights that were installed, along with the rear tail light kit that came from uh, Tail Light Solutions. Now, I went with a cheaper one at first, and you really get what you pay for. Um, the cheaper one they used crappy wire it's from like ID toy or some stupid company um, sh shitty shitty wires I mean it's terrible so this one was a little bit more expensive but as you can see it works a little bit better so that's the Eagle Eye tail lights and the lower rear fog kit okay and down here like I said that's the rear hitch cover that Ryan at Exact Art custom made for me. So if you want one, hit him up on Instagram. Look for Exact Art in Philadelphia. All one word. Uh, excuse me. It's Exact underscore Art. It's got like a red icon. His name is Ryan. Contact him. Send him a hitch cover. Uh, he's really busy, so it may take a month or two, uh, maybe up to three months. But once you once you get it, you know this one's a little. The bat. Uh, the lights are a little worn out. He's redoing one for me, so it, it's a lot better than spending six hundred fifty dollars for one from Xlink. Go around to the front and show you the, the DRL mod that we got. So your normal daytime running light. Oh, let me turn off the lights to show you. What it's okay. See, when you put the vehicle in drive, your DRLs down here in the bumper will come on, but these will stay on. Your ribbons will stay on at full power, so you'll have both. And that was $55, and you can contact the guy. If you want information on the DRL mod and the harness, it's a plug-and-play harness that we got, just contact me, and I'll give you his information. He's on Facebook. 
He's an engineer. He knows what he's doing. It's a very professional looking harness. Can't stress how good it is. Let me just turn the vehicle off. So I'm not talking over my the engine idle. I can't stress how professional of a job he did. I'm see you can see this loom right here that we wired up along. Okay, that's a part of the harness. I can't really get in and show you too much. But it's it's plug and play basically. You know, he, he did a great job. So if you want any information on that, let me know. I can't think of Let's see what else. You also replaced the Jeep emblem on the front too. I was gonna go without it for a while, but I thought it looked a little bit better in black. And that's it. That's it so far. So stay tuned for more modifications. The engine work, that'll get done next year. I'm not messing with the engine until next year. Thinking about putting a Pro Charger on it or uh, stroking it out, maybe 426 at max. Uh, if I go 426, then I can still add a Pro Charger on it. If I go 440, then I'm maxed out. I won't be able to add any more power to it. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. That's all the uh, all the work we did to it.